the roadmap of the demo would be in defining, uh, doing an overview of we, what we done with the, the libraries, and uh, and then do some demo that shows that this features hold. Okay. Don't What is it all of having the, the libraries? When to share classes and methods among with images, okay? And one important point is we don't, we don't want to require the compiler, okay? We want to distribute classes and methods among images without requiring the compiler. This is the goal. So, what is the problem we had to solve and what were the challenges we had to face? And what we were discussing with the client, the great one, and we wanted to provide a set, straightforward mechanism for sharing small dot classes and method. We've been reading some old uh, previous works and, and, and papers on that. But they wanted to simplify everything. Of course, have a clear and simple format called libraries. And one key point is what minimality uh, to give it. Uh, what is it in source space? By source space would be the image, the source image, okay? Where the, the library is created from. And the target space here, well, I, I don't know if I'm clear, and will be the destination of the image. And also, it's very important to keep what is necessary in the target space, in the, in the destination image, and which is where the classes and methods will be materialized. And very good the name of the, for the message, well, excellent. And, and the, and classes and methods will be the created or all original. This is a key point. We want a minimality. We don't want a, no special models or, or needs in the destination space, in the, in the destination image. Okay? As I was saying, the creation image is not to require compiler to install the new, new code. Uh, of course, as we will want is we want this to be platform independent, and 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 of course, as always, to be fast. Okay, these are the problems and the challenges we had to face. So I will not refer to the details of the um, of the implementation. Just I will talk uh, an overview. Uh, Taking the transcription we have in the uh, description of the, of three three classes we have the model. Okay, just one comment is this is a model for a a tool to be based on. This is not a tool. Okay. Okay. So as uh, we may intuitively think. The class effect this describes a class that includes, includes enough detail for a real class to be created from it, okay? But it's not a class, okay? Doesn't have a, any implementation details from quiz, nothing like that. And it is almost straightforward, easy to, to serialize and deserialize. Of course, everybody imagine, can imagine that we think that a basic, a, a basic tool will take the uh, quiz created in the source image, serialize that, and then this uh, library will be deserialized to the destination image and will be installed its content. Okay? So this is what it was take is. All we need to materialize the class. And regarding the method spec, describes a compiled method, but it is not a compiled method. It okay? includes enough detail for a real compiled method to be created from it. And in the same, no? of course, it is easy serializing, serializable, I think this word is, and deserializable. 
So uh, by now, we have the glass method, the, sorry, glass specs and the method specs. And as you can have a painting, which is straightforward, you have the libraries, BCL, dynamic with libraries, which is an aggregation of embodies a set of glass specs, method specs, to be materialized in the destination space or image. Okay? The DCL defines a set of classes and methods, okay, through it. Class specs, method specs that can be loaded into running this image. With its part, instances of class specs and method specs are not actual classes, of course, as I was saying. And, and great. So, this is the very simple model we have. Uh, the three, three main operations, three, three main messages uh, for a dynamic with slider is we have to create it. Okay, in the source space, source image. Uh, this is the with this is the, the, the message with classes. They, we need the classes we want to include, the class selectors for classes, and the and the user selectors. Uh, we, of course, we it is common. We need to to test if it, if it can be solved. In in a minute, we will be what are the constraints we give for a. Uh, certain library to be installed in the destination spa uh, space. And of course, we need to tell the library to, to install. And this is the last, the last message, and so, okay? So, this is the key thing. What is supported? What do we support with uh, uh, libraries? Of course, uh, we can add new classes in the destination spatial image. We can add instance variables to existing classes in the destination space. And this is in both devices. This is very interesting. It's great. We support class to reshape. What is reshaping? Uh, this would mean if the uh, installing the installing of the of the of the library implies reordering the instance variables or for instance, adding new variables in the middle of the ordering of the instance variable in the destination space. Okay, changing the, the order a little bit. And, and of course, what we want is to add methods and override methods. Okay, that's what we use this for. Um, a constraint we, we define for a library to, to be installed is that it, the class spec included in the library should has should have sorry, should have the same uh, hierarchy path to the root as the class in the initial image that the if it exists. And as I was saying, uh, we don't we don't want the destination space to require the the compiler. And as I was saying at the beginning. We don't want source code. We, we don't include source code. Everything is binary. In a minute, they will say what we mean with binary, but it can, uh, of course, imagine by binary we mean uh, based on bytecodes. So let's have, yeah, 20 minutes. Let's use some demo. Let's show that these features are supporting. Of course, to the demo, you may think, ah, you need two images, of course. A source image, produce a library there, put some class specs, method specs, and then serialize, and then you have a, a, a second image and visualize and install, well, install all the, all the changes in the destination image. And of course, we can do that with reference stream as one display, for instance. But instead of that, to be more agile, um, it's a great idea of one also. And we can use what, what I call, I don't know if this works, is a testing sugar to what write, writing tests. We use that to write, to write tests. And we will use this to demo the, these features, the supported features. Why? Because we want to, to demo this, to test this, and we want to use only one image, one image. Okay, so this is only to achieve agility in testing, and of course, by no means, it's part essentially of the framework. It's just an addition as a sure. 
And so what we use is these prototype classes that serve as a base for creative and modifying classes and methods in the same image. Okay? And then the thing is as follows. We define a class uh, with the name beginning with no flash. Okay? So when we install this library containing this class tag with name no clash something uh, x y z the the installing will impact or create a class without that prefix in this way we can have this no clash x y z and z remains uh, intact remaining in there maybe it was <laughs> confusing the way I, I said but i will show uh, what i mean by this so this allows us to quickly test in the same image in there are lots of tests uh, written this new written using this idea. So you see, ah, sure, yeah, okay. So let's let's use that demo. Then we will have to. You see, oh no, I need to view the ball. Okay. okay. So, go to the books. Just see it. What is me? We play a very soon matter. Okay, so let's, for instance, I don't know why this get bigger, I don't know. And I define, as I commented here, two, two classes, okay? There's no class classes to generate, uh, to show the, to the, the features. So if I include, sorry, so I'm starting with a workspace here. That's a path, there it is. Sorry, because of mess here. Yeah. So if I, Create a library here, okay, with this no clash test. Okay, I create the library using the message I commented. Okay, this I just click in the library, and you can see here you have the class tag and also all the classes and uh, up to the root. Okay and some the method specs. So if I install it, okay, can do this. So library, okay. Then I go to the, the browser, solid regressors. Here you have the the class without the name no class, okay. we like the suffix, okay, with all the methods, etc. And um, for instance, if I wanted to add a, a, an instance to that, okay, I can, of course, again, go to the no class test, another one, for instance, here, by rule, right? Then I create, where is it? Sorry, why oh, minimize that? Okay. 
I take Greek library from this, okay? I evaluate that, and then it is refreshing. You can see here a new bar that was not there. For instance, in the same for methods, if I have a method and I re-execute, it will be added. Let's test, for instance, if I change the superclass of this class, okay, for that, I will materialize another class, okay? For instance, with this, and so I have, yeah, I have created this another class, but I didn't, I didn't materialize. So let's do that, okay? So here it is, okay? So if I change the super class of tests now. It put here another test. Okay. So that. Okay, now the subclass is another test. If I try to modify, for instance, this test class, okay, with this library, the create a library, okay. First, if I ask if it can be installed, I should say no, because the hierarchy to the root of the class specs is not the same as the hierarchy to root two of the install class. Oh, so. so it's false. I'm not being installed, it's checked. Okay. So this, this are basic things also supports the reshaping. In this, I will talk just some seconds about this. For instance, I will put again here this class of object. Okay. So if I want to reshape, I use the this casting. Okay. And I put here, for instance, in the middle, something. This is in Swarov. And if I re-execute -exec a, a library with, with this, install, I create and install the library with this. I'm creating here and installing, okay. You can see this in the the class that you have with it, okay? And the great thing, great news is that all the, why, why is this difficult or not, not, not trivial? Because um, you have the bad codes, and, and of course, well, I mean, the bad codes generated for clock, boost, uh, quick return, etc. And this, Byte codes are uh, sensitive to the displacement of the variable inside the, the ordering of the class. So what you have to do is, if the source class fail, I mean, you have to take a decision, a, of the following two decisions, between the, the following. One is, are you adjust the methods that may come from the class pair, okay? Or you adjust the methods that are in the uh, in the stolen class, okay? But you have to do this adjustment. Uh, and this is great, it's work great. So, um, I have three minutes. So, it's back to this. So, but I thought, say, like this. Ah, thank you, man. Um, wait. So, uh, by binary way, we meet five codes. That was what I'm saying. We're based on, of course, compiled methods, and we have the class specs in the method spec. And this is a great part of strategies, class reshaping. This involves one's earlier and decision solution. We were talking, discussing the, the thing with one, and he thought out of the box and said, wait, 
we don't to change the the length and support the two and it left two bytes and three bytes length and it's not able to simplify the underlying reshaping hybrid we have to do it and because we don't have to consider the cases and also because of the jumps was very really, very good and um, so uh, performance there's a huge difference between using source code and using DCRs that really in dynamic quiz libraries. You can see in 10 classes with this amount of methods. Uh, this would be almost uh, 500 times faster no? than using a source code. So this is, this is very, very fast, simple and fast. And this is a benchmark. In, in Juan commented about that when we presented the good stuff working. So one, some conclusions. Uh, it's very really simple model. It's powerful. It's lightweight. It's platform independent because we are based on on, on bike codes today. Uh, this can be a, a foundation for tools to be done like that. And no source code for showing objects and classes, uh, sorry, classes and methods, and it's very fast. Okay, this is the produce side. And um, if you get to see the, the packages, you can pull from quiz GitHub repo, okay, there's the names of the packages, the uh, dynamic quiz libraries as the model, and uh, this quiz, sorry, and the other one is the this dynamic with libraries has to be lots of tests. So this is an overview of, of, of the thing. So thank you for listening. Very nice. Thank you also how low are the uh, library once you are loaded, you can remove from the image? Uh, in the code, no, no, no release. No. You, you are not like that. You, you can know that you were some on top of the other. Exactly. And if it were to push them, in particular, we don't have a higher constraint, which is if you know, we took this, this decision, and if you have the, in the destination space, you have the, the, the class, and if you, have, you are trying to install a library with the class tag that doesn't include um, an instance driver present in the the installed class and the existing class, we are not allowed, we don't allow the, the, the installing, for instance. Only we can or reorder or add new, new business variables. Yes, sir. When we can't install the library, how do you know the reason why it can't load? I would have to add that to it. Yeah, I'll, you're right. I just want to add, you may mention no source code in the library, but the plan is to be able to choose but yeah, if, if we have source or no source, we just want the option to say no source. Absolutely, yes, John, you're right. And yes, we, we can add the, the option of adding. What I was trying to say that in this model, we are not requiring, uh, I mean, we are not based on uh, the source code, but of course you're right, you can add it there. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I was handled when a method reference is ignored or an R class name and is at load time, that global class name may or may not be present. That detected by the can be installed megabits. Uh, I don't I have to see if this is there, but I don't remember if we okay, I can see in a comment. Now, I don't, don't remember if we, if not present the global, it, uh, it, I mean, I don't remember if the if it is not present, uh, it passes and, and sends a present or... I will give you a look on our website. Uh, 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 this experiment can be in the past to do something to me. I believe we are show saying that at least when you score the uh, score in the source code is a good idea and you may be, at, at least you get this a fallback because I don't know for example, a TV case that's in Kidon library A, which has a class A with some of the variables, and the current library B, 
the dispensary did not come on the game of A. And that's just, that's a class B, D, it's a soup, you have to have A, the yellow hour. And if you reshed the A class when you add the Willy Tess it only didn't combine better to more shim class. Uh, or cheese. Yes, this is supposed to be to exactly. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, exactly. 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 If you if you reset a super class, this will impact the exactly the super class. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you, Mariana, for making my voice. Listen. All right. It was that reshaping what happened when it is in the If you change super class in some letters, it will also yeah change the makeups in there. Good yeah, and then send out your his question, but let's say, yeah, let's say the question of how do you deal with uh, global variables and when a library has trust A and B, that those are mutually differencing each other, there's an order in how to do it, how to load them. Yeah, I think that you know, I have to look at the implementation, but we, if it's not present, we, put, we take a decision of, um, going and say not declare I, I don't I have to look exactly at the code there.